the role of so once upon a time electronics machines technology are part of our system either in education or business or governance whatever it may be so it plays small role so most of the uh, things are done by humans but nowadays the humans and the machines are equally treated that means uh, some of the problems are solved by using machines the role of the contribution of machines are 50 percentage and the humans are 50 50 percentage that means uh, the machines uh, growth is equal to sometimes better than humans some of our some problems so we cannot separate a uh, machines and the humans in future so what is uh, internet of things so it is nothing but connection of objects in the world with the use of internet that means you can connect any device in the world with the use of internet once the connection is made the devices can able to communicate for example we are using so many electronic devices in our home tv refrigerator ac laptop music system fire alarm micro oven washing machine so many electronic devices are used in home so think that if all the devices are internet enabled so our washing machine ac refrigerator all the devices are internet enabled so we can communicate with the devices from remote so we can control that devices from remote place and we can sequence the operations we can perform multiple operations with the use of internet so what i am coming to say is simple definition internet iot is nothing but communications of communication of devices in the world so you can connect any device in this network with the use of internet so what is the need for iot why we are using iot because we are living in dynamic world dynamic world means one of the uh, research says that every human being in the world in the present world technological world we are even though we are having life span of 60 to 70 years average but a teenager a kid technology is viable they are for example we can take a kid who is 7 years old if he is using mobile phone for gaming so gaming is the another world for him even though he is 7 years old he is living in two worlds one world is real world another world is game world so a yeah, seven years boy or girl or living if he or she is using mobile phones two years so virtual world and real world both world they are living four years that means we are living in different worlds with the use of technology so even we are living in real world in particular time span but uh, the same span is we utilized the technology also 
so recent research says that every technology enabled human human in this world who is living in different worlds whose life span is three times higher than the normal life when we compare with the earlier life span of a human so you can just imagine how the technology is penetrated to our uh, daily life so for daily life we are, we need technological assistance so we have to control the devices and environment for that we need internet of things next one is resource utilization so as a human we can perform only one action at a time so if we are uh, control with the use of even though we are having two or three remotes tv remote ac remote uh, audio remote but uh, we can perform only one operation at a time manually but uh, with the use of internet iot you can manage by using time time slot fixation like alarm particular uh, time wake up like that you can fix the slot and schedule the process so by that way we can improve the resource utilization ratio next one is integration of human society and the physical systems so uh, presently we are having so many technology support uh, electronics support digital world we are in digital world but there is a vast uh, distance between the devices and the humans so with the use of iot we can reduce the distance so we can integrate the human and the physical systems here physical systems represents all the devices in the world next one is flexible configuration you know that uh, we are have using different model electronic devices so with the use of iot you can control you need not worry about the configuration durability and uh, fixed uh, operations you can perform that operation with the use of iot in somewhere else and you can get the result and you can give the input to that device if the device is not updated so you can do that next one is universal transport and internet network so you are all know about the definition for internet so internet is nothing but networks of network so if you are connecting different networks so in your college you are having one network department wise systems are connected so when when one college is connected with another college so that is called networking so when we are connecting all the networks in the world that is called internet so with the internet and iot so we can establish the universal internet networking and transportation transportation means data data transportation and acts like a technological integrator so this is uh, i am just i am stressing this point acts as technological technologies integrator so we are using different technologies for example cloud cloud storage cloud technology and uh, gene uh, genetics based technologies are there for uh, gene data bank so we are having databases centralized databases distributed databases so we can also having different types of mediums so uh, television medium like that so we can integrate the technologies with the use of internet that means what i am coming to say is you can able to establish a communication between the radio device with the visualized any visualized device so that that is not possible without using iot so with the use of iot you can get the data from radio or any other audio device you can give you can transform the data into text form or audio form any other form and you can give it to input to the another device so by that way you can integrate different types of technologies so these are all the reasons we need iot so one of the fascinating fascinating areas so hot area research area in iot is medicine so so many applications are there 
so some of the applications uh, if you are uh, familiar with the android mobile so many walking applications uh, respiratory system based applications so all the uh, applications you are using in android that requires internet connection and a gps connection uh, and uh, it uses so many sensors to get the input from you so that is a classical example for iot internet of things so if you are using a walking app what will uh, it do it just calculates the steps based on your movement that movement is movement information is collected and it is compared or stored mapped with the geographical location with the use of geographical location device which is available in your uh, mobile gps and uh, it calculates it combines the data and it gives the result with the use of internet because that application is connected with the server one of the server that server is hosted by that is that application developer so it it uh, gets the data with the use of sensors and it collects the data and it will go for analysis and it will give the results to you how many steps you walked today how many calories you burned and uh, how much of energy you released so how many uh, miles you traveled so you can uh, so this is the classical example for iot application okay so like that uh, uh, in medicine in healthcare uh, so many advanced advancements are uh, going so many research re researchers are doing uh, give better solutions for healthcare problems with the use of iot so this is the simple uh, setup for iot for just checking a, a diabetic patient who requires how much of insulin in that particular time so for that what will what will we need first one is a glucose monitor so the glucose monitor monitors how many glucose presently that patient is having so how the sugar level must be checked before giving the insulin to that patient so for that we are using continuous glucose monitor and uh, that device is connected with the carlink usb next one is raspberry pi so it is a tool kit there are it is nothing but a processing board you think that a motherboard in a computer or a, a processor uh, enabled board in your uh, mobile phones so it is just a getting input and processing and it gives output so battery you know that for uh, energy power energy power consumption power power utilization we are using battery so this is insulin pump so the process is it just checks the sugar level of a patient based on that sugar level the insulin pump the raspberry pi will process so we we must enter the insulin level before this process we should give the prior input suppose a patient is you know the normal sugar level according to asia uh, 160 maximum permissible level so if the sugar level of the patient is beyond 160 for example 200 so the insulin level may be 2 ml like that so if the sugar is high 400 the the insulin pump level should be fixed as 10 ml like that so this is a uh, automatic process which is the use of iot so what can we do what iot can do for healthcare so before iot so doctors you know the doctor visits and the communications 
so usually what will happen a doctor comes to ward and he inspects the patients and he go through the case history of the patient and he recommends the medicines or modify the medicine and uh, that me medicine will be continued until the uh, doctor comes again so this is a normal uh, method we are following so when we are implementing iot in that uh, hospital or the patient who is uh, residing with the use of sensors so we are having so many sensors like a temperature sensor respiratory uh, sensor humidity sensor so many sensors are there with the use of sensors if the patient goes to critical condition then it will be automatically alarmed to the doctor through his mobile device or a caretaker or attender of the patient so this could be possible with the use of inter iot so if which enables the patient will be monitored in 24 into 7 and he, they can get the recommendations from the doctor because the doctor can also able to know the present situation of the patient so based on that present situation he he the doctor he or she uh, should no need to come in person until the emergency occurs so from this they can easily uh, treat the patients with the use of this technology and another thing i already mentioned uh, potential care and monitoring of patients so that will be possible and uh, uh, you can see due to pandemic situations uh, we crossed uh, we are crossing the pandemic situation of covid 19 we are all uh, experiencing so uh, especially in our country uh, few months uh, back so all the hospitals are engaged lack of uh, oxygen beds like that so scarcity of uh, manpower also doctors as well as nurses so when we take, when we implement the technology so we can monitor the patients when anything occurs it will be informed automatically to the doctors so by that we can utilize the manpower efficiently and we can give the better support to the patients next to this uh, some of the patients are uh, hospitalized as well as uh, bedridden so most of the chronic illness patients uh, who are in uh, elder age say they, they could not able to come to hospital frequently even though they are uh, highly uh, diseased so they need some doctor support so when when the technology is available so with the use of technology we can get the advice from the doctor through video calling or uh, by getting information through the iot enabled sensors so by that way we can find the doctor can give the advice and uh, they can able to analyze the patient's condition from remote places so that that could be possible and uh, cost so that is most important uh, once uh, one whatever uh, it may be a patient uh, goes to hospital he has to spend some money for transportation consultation like that so nowadays you can you you, you can see the advertisements uh, uh, in uh, televisions uh, some of the applications some of the uh, developed by the leading hospitals in india they are providing mobile care they are giving they are giving mobile advice that means mobile advice means uh, without uh, physical uh, presence they are guiding you how to take your pills and uh, how to take the medicines like that so the, the, these are all the initial steps uh, taken by the stakeholders of this uh, healthcare system so these are all the building blocks of iot so we need so many devices 
end user devices that means that device gets the input from the patient or user so that is the end device we call it as mostly the devices are called as sensors or actuators so actuators or sensors so uh, sensors are nothing but you know about uh, uh, environment dependent devices it monitors the blood level sugar level of a patient uh, so many sensors are available nearly 110 above 110 sensors are available in the market so actuators are nothing but transforming that sensor information or collecting that information from the sensors and it holds that value for some time and gateways are nothing but connection establishment like our mobile devices we are using sim cards to establish the mobile connection internet connection like that we can use so many modem uh, electronic devices or establish the internet connection next one is all the devices in our home personalized device which establishes the communication with the network so network is common for all everyone is connected with the network and uh, the data are stored in cloud environment so cloud is nothing but a virtual storage of data so, so i am having physical storage in my mobile phone or laptop up to 500 mb or 1 tb suppose uh, we need to store the data the data is generated uh, requires more space to store for that we can buy the storage or hire the storage in the virtual environment that storage is called cloud cloud storage so inside of that virtualized servers are there data storage units are there who are the service providers of data so we know devices are end devices gateways you know bsnl we are uh, in, in our uh, home we are using modem or in our mobile phone we are using sim card uh, to communicate with the network so network is nothing but it just establishes a communication between as i said earlier network of network so we are going to communicate with another network so i have i have to communicate first to my my network first if i am using bsnl sim i got to communicate with my bsnl network first with the use of my sim card and that that network is connected with another network where i am going to communicate so overall process usually iot requires more storage what is the reason behind that because it, it uh, the sensory devices are collecting data 24 into 7 so the collected data can be stored continuously then only the analysis can be done like our cctv footage it stores 24 into 7 footage in a memory like the same same thing happens but in cctv uh, we are using physical storage hard disk in our home or business places but uh, in iot the data is stored in a cloud environment so that cloud service providers are amazon google they are giving free storage as well as they are giving storage for with minimum amount at minimum cost so the devices can be any any devices can be like uh, tool car home or particular mobile fan light whatever be be so as i said earlier anything can be communicable when the internet technology is enabled incorporated with the device you can establish any communication suppose i am going to establish internet connection in my tube light so from that in iot what can i do i can get the information about the temperature how much heat it emits how long it glows how much of energy it requires these are all the data i can obtain from that tube light like that same way from a car from a home any electronic devices in the world so those those devices are called called as smart things what is the meaning for the word smart when it is internet enabled then we we call it as smart things 
Next one is in our previous diagram we we, we have seen gateways. Next one is middleware. So middleware is nothing but intermediate software which which establishes communication between the application and the network. What is going to be application? Suppose I am monitoring my my motor, pump set motor in my farmland with the use of my mobile device. So how can I monitor? I just enable the internet connection with the motor with the use of IoT setup. Uh, we have seen first diagram. Uh, there was a Raspberry Pi kit like that. So we can establish the kit setup in my motor room. By that way, I can see how much of water flow when the motor was on, when the motor was off, how much of water uh, delivered like that. So that is called application. My mobile device contains application. The establishment of devices with the mobile device, the intermediate software used is called middleware. So this is the general architecture for healthcare. How healthcare occurs. So I think uh, this uh, picture is not clear. So this is the uh, clear picture. Role of IoT in healthcare industry. So how the healthcare system with the use of IoT can be possible. So a patient he is connected with the lab doctor and the healthcare indexes, medical, all the things. So all the things are incorporated with the use of IoT. So this is the flow, how IoT works. So a patient is having wearable device, like uh, you can take any simple uh, device, a pressure monitor enabled watch. So you know in the market uh, uh, from 500 onwards, rupees onwards you can buy that watch. And uh, that has some Wi-Fi connection facility. So with the use of our mobile phones, you can establish the internet connection between that watch and your mobile. It just stores the information of your heartbeat and your blood pressure. When your device is established with your family, nursing home or clinic, Suppose without knowing your own perception, without having any consciousness, you are you have no physical symptoms or inner symptoms, but your blood pressure is too high. So you need assistance. So what will happen? The IoT system sends the alarming information to your hospital and you know that healthcare, here you are seeing health rate monitor sensor, blood pressure sensor, wearable devices, and real time alert and health reports. So the data will be sent to one server that is called IoT Cloud. Okay. And the data is stored in a storage that is called data storage. And in that, based on your previous data, and the present data, all the data are stored every day. It just compares with your previous heart rate, blood pressure, all the things. And when the blood pressure is too high, what will happen? It sends the alarming information to the same IoT cloud. Yep. By that way, the doctor is also connected in the network. He receives the information about you. through the notification from the network. So he can give you the suggestions or he will inform your nursing home that that patient is in critical condition. He is not uh, bothering about that. He is not conscious. So you will send a medical assistance like that. Or he can be able to call you and give the uh, message that uh, your pressure is too high. You come to hospital and uh, uh, take the medicine or consultation. So this is a very simple example uh, for IoT in healthcare. How 
health care is health care can be performed well given by the hospital well with the use of iot there are four stages of iot in health care first one is devices so we, we are using so many devices with the use of sensors from that way networks like that from that way these are all the input for process so iot need input so for that we are using so many devices so that is the first stage second stage is it continuously accumulates the data producing by you with the use of sensors and other devices so it does some pre processing pre processing means it it categorizes your data for example heart beat rate data your calorie your weight your uh, energy consumption energy release all the data are categorized into separate and it is stored in a data storage that is a third stage and the fourth one is data analysis so data analysis is nothing but uh, it just compares with your weight your energy consumption energy release all the things so it analyzes and give the reports results you are fit you are unfit you are in danger zone you are having monthly checkup like that so based on the data it will go for analysis so devices first stage second stage is data aggregation and pre processing third stage is data storage fourth one is data analysis so these are the four stages of iot in healthcare so we are going to uh, discuss about the important stakeholders of iot in healthcare so who are the uh, important uh, stakeholders who are the the persons who are involving in healthcare so the important persons are patients doctors and physicians and hospitals so these three are more most important so first we are going to discuss about patients so patients are the in input source of this system so they are the source so from collecting the data to monitoring a patient using different sensors by that way the person comes under personal attention that means in a ward a nurse is appointed to monitor 12 patients or 20 patients what will happen if anything any calls from the patients then only the nurse give the assistance and uh, that nurse will frequently checks periodic checks morning evening afternoon injection or uh, giving medicines tablets like that or uh, uh, doing any uh, clinical trials like that so uh, that 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 is possible but uh, in iot the patient can get the personalized attention with the use of monitor without human intervention without human assistance without human monitoring 24 hours but uh, he will be monitored with the use of devices so that device will give the all the information about the patients frequently and when some of the limitations or alarms are fixed when the patient goes to some critical condition beyond that level levels mentioned uh, given by the doctors or uh, physicians then it will be immediately automatically informed to the concern persons either he may be the doctor or any other person who is responsible for this patient monitoring system next one is in uh, in singapore the fourth point is uh, fourth and third and fourth point so in singapore one of the project they are doing is uh, drones so many one of the survey you are know that chinese people are having very longest uh, life span they are living 
elder age or above 100 are living in china and singapore so most of the especially elder who are living alone you know the uh, dormitory in singapore and uh, some of the developed cities they are having minimum 10 to 20 floors so suppose a, a elder person who is sleeping in 40th floor so how can we monitor them without getting any information from that elder how can we find whether that elder is in good condition or not so in singapore recently they done research in nus national university singapore they are sending drones to that location which consists of camera which is connected to that hospital the camera zooms the patient condition whether he is alive whether he is movable like that if it is okay then nothing will be wrong if anything no movements are there they will send a person to check whether the elder is in good condition or not so this is the present scenario they are using the application and uh, a patient who is having a disease chronic illness or generic diseases like a hereditary diseases so he needs medical attention they are living they have to live their life day to day with the their day to day activities like office work uh, family like that so but they, they need always medical attention they have to be monitored so for that iot will be the better solution for them with the use of sensors they will be monitored next iot for physicians so iot enables healthcare professionals it establishes the connection between the patient and the doctor so the healthcare professional no need to go you can take any experts leading doctors so they won't work in a own hospital so they they are giving their experts they their expert guidance is needed for multiple hospitals but uh, they are they are in hurry mood so if they are you know in apollo and uh, some of the familiar hospitals they are getting medicines through email by sending reports to the doctor who is in mumbai or delhi like that calcutta so the doctor could not able to visit the person in person every time so he will come either in the earlier stage of that patient or when critical situation comes in between the medical assistance services will be provided through the e- email or any other online applications so that is presently available what is the role of iot if the patient is virtually connected to the doctor if any one of the patient in india for example a heart expert who is assisting a patient who is critically rare case who is in chennai the doctor will be might be in cochin then they are virtually connected when the per person requires advice during critical condition so there is no need to get the prior input or in person visit to that uh, location when the internet is enabled so the doctor receive the notification about the condition of the patient as early as possible within a second so he will give the guidance immediately so that medical assistance will save the patient think that uh, when the patient records are sent to after getting the 
results sent it to the doctor he will take some time and he will give the uh, his uh, he will give his suggestion what will happen in between time the gray stain the patient should be surveyed without any medical assistance next one is the physicians are humans none of them will have the memory of all the patients and uh, even though he is a he or she is a family doctor he is seeing so many patients so he could not uh, able to link his earlier occurrences of that patient because we are not maintaining any health records from our childhood so we crossed so many situations so many occurrences so from my childhood i could be faced fever i diseased with some other diseases so many times but i i forgot even the patient might forget when the data is stored the physicians the doctors can easily identify when this happened the same thing happened to, to this patient so from that we can connect the information with his medical history and the doctor will give the better treatment to the patient so that is that will these are all the fruitful solutions for a patient next one is hospitals so you are all, you are all know about the medical equipments wheelchairs nebulizers oxygen pumps so even though uh, the hospital who is having multiple branches in a particular region but uh, when one location is tightly engaged by the people in a particular disease so they will face shortage of their equipments when iod is enabled before the patient reaches the hospital the facilities the equipments will be arranged because all are closely connected said so if a patient requires nebulizer already 10 nebulizers are available the 10 patients are admitted so one of the patient is going to be admitted after 30 minutes so it just checks with the database how many nebulizers are available how many nebulizers are in use so when the shortage of nebulizer it it automatically sends the information that a need of nebulizer so you can imagine the situation and the deployment of medical staff so you all know that different locations one location multiple hospitals private and government hospitals will be available in the another location only limited number of hospitals are available when situation goes bad the shortage of manpower will goes to fatal fatal so this can be avoided with the use of iot and uh, hygiene monitoring devices that means uh, with the use of iot we can monitor the patient before he will be infected if before he is getting infected so by that way we can prevent that patient we you know in india most of the patients most of the humans are anemic due to lack of take of supplementary or good food or hygiene so from the technology is enabled we can find how much of food taken by that patient so you can you may think that the how much the cost will be you know the internet cost so it will in india for 199 to 250 rupees you can obtain the internet for 28 to 30 days so that internet can be utilized by one or two patients or persons so the internet technology is viable in developed and developing countries some of the developed undeveloped countries are facing uh, lack of internet usage and uh, devices so lot of devices are established so when 
technologically is sound this could be possible without a minimum resource with the minimum resources we can we can able to do this so next one is uh, uh, some of the examples tools available in healthcare so i'm going to give the examples which are presently available in the market you can buy continuous glucose monitoring system so cgm it is a device which consists of transmitter sensor wire and it sends a real time monitoring information to the network so you can connect to this network this device with your any network you can use you can connect this device with your mobile device as well as nearby hospital like that it is the use of internet it gives glucose readings for 5 minutes every 5 minutes it, it gives inputs how many how much of sugar level so some patients require some patient, patients are having fluctuation of glucose levels so in that case this device can be very useful for them so this is the device next activity trackers during cancer treatment so that this is a device which is using uh, which is usually in uh, uh, in uh, well established hospitals especially uh, european countries so if a cancer patient wear this activity tracker so based on his uh, previous treatment history the levels are fixed by the hospital when anything goes wrong that information will be automatically sent to that hospital okay and the patient can also find his data by connecting his mobile his or her mobile phone with this tracker so usually you know that the trackers are like wrist watches like that are rope which can be uh, hold in our neck like that 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 active activator activity tracker should be touched touchable weared wearable like that so it should be touch touchable in our body it will get takes the all the input our body temperature our respiration level heartbeat like that all the things so as i said earlier it looks like a wrist watch so it is connected with your hospital as well as your mobile phone from that way you can monitor yourself suppose i took less food today i have consumed less calories so i can manage myself that tomorrow i will take more so these things will be helpful for me as a patient next is smart inhalers you know about a smart in inhaler so in an inhaler it takes it contains some medicine it it makes easier for breath so inhaler is iot enabled and i'm using inhaler it gives the input that how much of medicine i inhaled total per day how much of times i inhaled how much of medicine i inhaled and what is my respiration rate okay it works with the bluetooth also and the patients who are having high blood pressure or who are having asthma like diseases this inhaler will gives basic information this much of amount that means a sensor is fixed along with that inhaler so that shows how much of body temperature that patient have how much of medicine he inhaled and what is the respiration rate of that person like that so this is the diagram 
connected contact lenses they are having most of the patients they are having problems in their eyesights and am i audible yes sir okay so the it, the lenses are connected with the sensors and it is incorporated with the mobile phone smartphone and it gives how much of times you what is the pressure level of your eye nerves and it gives how much of utilization of your eye like that so what is the main thing it shows the it monitors the blood flow of your eye region and it measures the glucose levels so this is the sensor enabled eye lens you know glucose tears it is one of the major symptoms for diabetic patients so that is one of the symptom that they are they are straining making strain of their eyes so this can be fine with the use of this device so another one is depression fighting apple watch app you know people are dying due to depression also lot of suicides so that can be avoidable with the use of application apple application which is incorporated in a watch so it just checks the heartbeat levels of your of the patient of the person and it checks the environmental temperature if it is sunny if the if the person is sweating more no worry about that if there is a winter season thus if the the patient the persons sweating is more then the application will find that the patient is in different mood like that so another important familiar application you can find in your uh, apple uh, apple mobile phones breathe so it uh, just uh, gives the information to how to medicate themselves the patient who are the person who are in depression so this is the application which is incorporated in your watch smart watch you know about apnea or by most of them uh, you are from uh, biological background license background so absence of breath so it can be possible during deep breath or in depression so when the breath is breathing process is not done by the per person few minutes then this watch will alarm them that take a breath otherwise they will forget and go for unconscious stage even the death may happen the advantages of iot in health care are first one is cost reduction next one is improved treatment so you know about cost reduction transportation and getting medical advice uh, guidance like that it can be done in in a remote place and improved treatment also our uh, government of tamil nadu also launched uh, so many i think uh, some of the applications uh, iot based applications also uh, it requires some input for uh, improved treatment the doctors will give you the medical assistance through phone telephone also 
like that and a faster disease diagnosis so the your medical report will be uh, exchanged within a few of seconds through from the laboratories to your doctor it can be cannot be possible when it is physically happens it requires more time we have to fix the appointment and then we have to get the report from the lab in person so this can be reduced by that way we can get the faster disease diagnosis proactive treatment that means uh, anything can be possible in earlier time without getting worsted without going to be uh, bad the kind even uh, before the medical assistance will be given and the drugs and the equipment management so you know that uh, even though today we are uh, taking pills for uh, thyroid diabetic or any heart disease like that what will happen for monthly checkup or six months once checkup doctor will get the average results below sugar levels and uh, our uh, ecg report like that thyroid levels based on that he or she recommends the drug for some time one month or two month course you know that course it takes some particular time for taking medicine but uh, the doctor will not uh, able to monitor day by day your health condition but uh, it it is required for most of the conditions the level may be changed the dosage of um, medicines will be changed especially for taking patients who are taking insulin like that so faster uh, proactive drugs and equipment management will be performed well so when the doctor doctor recommends you take 10 ml insulin before food what will happen even though the sugar level is less for that the doc the patient has to check the sugar level glucose level first and then they have to select the insulin level but doctor recommends usually 10 ml even though the patient might not have the awareness that the sugar level is less he or she have to get the insulin less insulin but uh, due to doctor recommendation what will they do they will take uh, 10 ml as usual level so it will give some side effects to the patients when the iot is enabled the sugar level map based on the sugar level the insulin level can be automatically fixed so that can be possible drugs and uh, equipment management next one is error reduction you know so many uh, most of the nowadays uh, you, you see the people uh, who are expertising in this medical field healthcare they suggest us to go for third opinion that means we have to get the before going for treatment for a particular disease or whatever it may be we have to go for third opinion so that could not be possible that could not be done by the most of the patients why they have to get another appointment they have to do all the things start from the beginning and then they have to get the conclusion so people who are having more money then only they they have to go for uh, opinion but when iot is enabled that medical your medical reports can be sent to the to the doctor and uh, he can see and uh, we can get the third opinion in advance without spending more time and cost so challenges what are the limitations in iot in healthcare first one is device management so as i said earlier we are using so many equipments and sensors so we have to check the functionality of the sensor and we have to maintenance that its performance so that is one of the major challenge next one is uh, technical malfunction so you know that uh, the internet speed uh, may vary it can be disturbed 
uh, it is totally depends on the uh, environmental conditions, natural calamities like that, and the data security. So it is for when we are getting data from a person, it is totally sensible. It is a sensitive data. The privacy should be maintained. The data should be kept in secret place or safest place. That is one of the challenge, data security. Next one is active monitoring. So even the devices are connected. When the patient is close to critical condition, that information sent to the, so to, the, to the doctor as well as the hospital. In that case, a human intervention is required for acting active monitoring. For preliminary process and intermediate process, that can be done with the use of machines, equipments, and devices. But when it goes to higher level, a human intervention, human support is required. So for that active monitoring, in that case, the challenge is still still it is in challenge. Next one is database management. As I said earlier, when you are monitoring a person 24 hours, what will happen? Enormous amount of data will be received, released. You can get a lot of information. Either it may be in MB or GB. So assume that you are, your hospital is having 100 patients remotely connected. What will happen? Every day, a single patient generates 1 GB of data. So for every day, that hospital requires 1 GB of memory storage to store a data about that person for one day. So assume that database in management is the another challenge in IoT. So uh, these are all the things in healthcare uh, we have discussed. Uh, next, uh, some of the interesting devices in IoT you can buy in the market. So that will be useful for, for, for you also. So this is the happy fourth. Uh, this fourth is an electronic fork. It defines your ha eating habit. That means uh, you imagine that uh, with the use of this fork, you are taking food. So if you are taking food fastly, it gives information that you are eating so fast. So if you are eating slowly by watching TV, it informs that, indicates that you are taking food very slowly. We can connect, you can connect this happy fork with your mobile, which contains application, happy fork. And it also gives how much of food you have taken like that. So what kind of food you have taken? So this is one of the IoT enabled fork. This one is my vessel cup. So it consists of, uh, it contains when you, it holds the charge for five to seven days, wire free charging also. So if you are uh, pouring any hot water, hot water, hot drinks, it shows the temperature of that uh, uh, liquid, how much temperature it holds, how much of, how much ml it holds, it, it like that. So this is another uh, interesting uh, IoT enabled uh, application. Next one is the smart toothbrush. It is how efficiently you brush it today. So that is hygiene. So today you are in hurry mood. You brushed not well. So it gives 40 percentage out of 100. So you, you, you have not cleaned your teeth well like that. 
so it is electronic device smart tooth brush so egg smart egg tray so it reveals the good egg bad egg and how long this egg will be going to be good so you must use this egg 3 to 4 days you must use this egg up to 7 days like that so it can be connected with your smartphone so it synchronizes the condition of your egg next one is smart propone tank so it can be uh, connected with your car tank or water tank any storage tank the level of the storage tank is maintained virtually in your uh, mobile phone by that way you can find the capacity and how much of fuel is available how much of water is available in your tank as i said earlier uh, glucose monitoring system so this is uh, some smart enabled glucose monitoring system that means uh, today your sugar level is 20 percentage high so you need you need 30 minutes walk you need 20 minutes meditation you need 10 minutes yoga like that so the app will give, give you the suggestions and it also sends your glucose reports to your doctor like that next one is smart operation washing machine so washing machine with the smart ecosystem thanks so many applications you can monitor or control your washing machine with the use of this app this is smart piggy bank so you can find your savings and it reveal it also gives the information suppose you are fixing target that from january 1 2022 up to december 31 2022 i need one lakh suppose i am putting some money it indicates that this much of money is available if you are depositing the same amount of money up to december 31 2022 your total money will be this like that so hydroponic system so it it is uh, gardening based small gardening based system so you have to implant the sensors with your plants and you can connect with the sensors with a iot board so by that way not or how much of water uh, it requires like that and it also remembers you that your plant is in dry condition you have to pour water like that so uh, like the, it is another application related to the gardening that is a smart sprinkler control so sprinkler control means it automatically controls the based on the temperature of your soil and the plant with the use of sensor it monitors and it fixes the water flow in your sprinkler and it can be monitored with your smartphone or any electronic devices so next one is fiction arcade machine so it is nothing but a game based tool so it just prints whatever it may be the kids it it's like a printing machine so that's all today thank you for your patience so if you have any questions you can ask me thank you